In the previous lectures, we have studied about Mealy Machine and we have also seen examples of how to construct Mealy Machine. So, in this lecture, we will be starting with the construction of Moore Machine. Okay, so here is our task. Construct a Moore Machine that prints A whenever the sequence 01 is encountered in any input binary string. So, our task is to design a Moore Machine in such a way that it takes any binary strings as input and whenever it sees the sequence 01 then it should print an A. Okay, so we have done this same example for Mealy Machine as well. So let's see how can we design the Moore Machine for this task. So what is the main difference between a Mealy Machine and a Moore Machine? I have already taught you. In Moore Machine, the output is associated to the states. In case of Mealy Machine, the outputs were associated with the inputs. But in this, the outputs are associated with the states. So we will get it clear when we solve this example. So here for this example, our sigma or our inputs, it could be zeros and ones. And our output or delta will be A's or B's. Okay, so let's see how we can design the Moore machine for this. So just as we started it for Mealy machine, we will start for Moore machine also. How? By first designing the DFA for this and then we will try to convert it to a Moore machine. So what is the DFA that we should design here? We should try to design a DFA that will accept all binary strings that will end with 0, 01. So let's see how we can design the DFA for that. I will first start with my starting state which I will call state A. A will be my starting state or initial state and A will go to the next state which I will call state B on getting input. What input should I give? On getting input 0 because I am trying to get this sequence 0 1. So A will go to B on getting input 0 and then B will go to the next state which I will call state C when will it go to state C? On getting the input 1. Okay, because we are trying to get the sequence 0, 1. So A goes to B on getting 0 and B goes to C on getting input 1. Okay, but this is not complete because we did not mention where does these states go on getting other inputs. So let us try to complete that. So A, if it gets input 1, what will happen? Let it stay in A itself because I can move to the next I want to move to the next state only when I encounter the sequence 0 1 so I have completed for A A on getting 0 goes to B on getting 1 it stays in itself and what happens to B on getting input 1 I already said it goes to C on getting input 0 what will happen I'll put it in B itself because I don't want to move further okay now we have completed for B and what about C where should C go on getting input 0 and where should C go on getting input 1 Okay, let's say that in C we get an input 0. So let's say we came to C in this way, we got a 0 and a 1. Suppose you got 0, 1 and you came to C. And if you get a 0 again, you see that you have to wait for another 1. Then only we can get this sequence 0, 1. And in C, if I want to get another 1, where should I send it? I should send it to B. So I will send C to B if it gets an input 0 if it gets an input 0. And then suppose I came to C by getting this 0, 1 and instead of a 0, if I get a 1, what happens? Then I can only move ahead if I get another 0, 1. I have to wait for another 0, 1. So in order to get another 0, 1, where should I send C? I have to send C back to A. Then only I can come and get this sequence 0, 1 again. So if C gets the input 1, then I will send it to state A. Okay. So now our DFA is complete. So I have mentioned what happens to A, B and C on getting inputs 0 and 1. Okay. Now this is the DFA but we need to make it a Moore machine. So as I already taught you in Moore machine the output is associated to the states not to the inputs as it was for Mealy machine. So we saw that whenever we reach state C, we are getting the input 0, 1. 
all right we are reaching state c on getting input 0 1 and that is the case in which we understand that we have encountered the sequence 0 1 and when we encounter the sequence 0 1 what should we do we should print a so in c i will give the output a all right so whenever the binary string reaches the state c it knows that it got a 0 1 and it will print an a and in the other cases i don't care what it is so i will print a b print a b here and here also i'll print a b okay so we have got this now let us just take a few examples and see if this is working let's say we are going to check for this string 0 1 1 0 okay so we start with the starting state which is state a and even before you give an input to this um, Moore machine, whenever you reach the starting state A, you see that A already has an output B. So even before you give the input, this A will print an output B. Okay, and then we get this 0. So in state A, if I get 0, what happens? It goes to B. And it goes to B. And what does B print? B prints a B, small b and then now i come to this one i am in state b b on getting input one goes to c c and what does it print c prints an a then i come to this one over here and i am in state c c on getting input one ha what happens it goes to a it goes to a and what does a print a prints small b and then the last one is this zero i am in state a and a on getting zero goes to b and what does b print b prints a small b okay so now we see that for the input 0 1 1 0 we are getting the output b b a b b so we see that here an a was printed and when was a printed when we encountered the sequence 0 1 so when we encountered the sequence 0 1 a was printed so we can take another example let's say we take this example 0 1 0 1 so we start with the starting state which is state A and as I told you even before you give the input when you start from A, A already has an output B so it prints this B and then we come to the first input that is 0, A on getting input 0 goes to B and B prints a small b and next input is 1 and B on getting input 1 goes to C and what does C print? C prints an A. And then the next input is 0. We are in state C. State C on getting 0, what happens? It goes to state B. And B prints a small b. And then the last input is 1. And we are in state B. B on getting input 1 goes to state C. And what does state C print? It prints an A. Okay, so for the input 0, 1, 0, 1, we are getting the output B, B, A, B, A. So we got two a's printed over here why here we encountered the sequence 0 1 and for this this a was printed and for another sequence of 0 1 we printed another a so whenever you saw the sequence 0 1 the output a was printed so that is how you design the Moore machine for this task so i hope this was clear to you this was how to design Moore machine we will see more examples in the next lectures